Hey guys, today let us explore the aggregate function, AGGR function in ClickSense uh, with the help of this uh, simple uh, data set. So I have few uh, category product and sales for two different years, 23 and 24. So let me go to the UI. I have a couple of filters already created. So let me quickly add a, a table to visualize the underlying data. So I'll start with year my category product and finally a measure for sales sum of sales okay so this is my our uh, uh, underlying data now let me create a simple uh, formula using aggr Let's say some more AGGR, okay, which is similar to the group by function in SQL. So it's, a, it's going to do a group by. So what we are going to do is within AGGR, I'm going to say sum of sales, okay come on based on this dimension so it is basically uh, going to do a group by sum of sales by category okay and that is what uh, this aggregate does so whatever uh, aggregate return so basically AGGR is going to return uh, if you can visualize it in a SQL if you are going to write select uh, category come off sum of sales from so and so table group by category so we will get two free columns right in the sql <clears throat> one column with category another column for sum of sales so similarly this is going to create imaginary table in the uh, memory right so after that it's going to do a sum on top of that so we are going to get the final sum of sales okay so let's see the final output which is 2350 okay so we'll try to visualize it <clears throat> how aggr does it internally so when i say uh, sum of sales group by category this is what uh, click would have created a temporary table in memory right so sum of sales by category so once this table is formed in the memory, it's going to do a total sum of this field, which is going to return 2350, right? And that's what we see over here. Instead, if I change this to average, okay, average of this whole same result, okay? So now it returns 470. Here, let me change this as average. So here we see average as 235, whereas we see 470 over here. Let me also add a measure for average here. So this also returns 235, right? So this is how click. Uh, has uh, handles the data right i mean when, when i say average of sales it is going to do an average of this view right not this view even though we say category every category has got multiple products and we have got these many records and this average is actually on the entire record so so when i select 2024 we get 1400 uh, divided by 5 should return 280 okay whereas what we see here is 466 okay let me add uh, sum of sales here okay. so what we see is 1400 so 1400 divided by 3 okay 
let me quickly do that thousand sorry thousand four hundred divided by three which is four double six dot six right so which that is what we get over here in the aggregate function whereas the default table returns 280 and that's because it it, <coughs> it it is it has got five records when i have a product included because each category has got multiple say d particular category d has got three product and even though the total is 1400 the number of records are five so it's going to be an average of five records whereas here at the category level it is only three category right so that is why this 1400 was divided by three and what we get is four double six okay so when i use aggr it is going to create an imaginary table a temporary table only with these two fields it's not going to consider my data model it's not going to consider the year or product or other fields so those relationship will be excluded only this uh, temp table in the memory will be considered and we we got this average right so that's how the agr function works or um, uh, internally visualizes it okay so let's let me do one more thing let's say i want to capture max of maximum sales so now let's okay let me take a copy of this and i'll try to see how it is visualized by the aggr function so let me delete all this so what we have here is let me delete the product also okay so this is how the aggr function is going to visualize it internally okay so <clears throat> category three different category and uh, the respective max value out of it okay so now if i want to get the maximum value out of it uh, let's say i want to know the maximum sales so i have already taken the max sales for each row now if i want to take the max out of it i can use a function called uh, first sorted value right so in our previous video we have used uh, the same to create some kpis we'll quickly have a look so what i am doing is i'm using the same uh, I'm I, I need the uh, first sorted value of category based on this formula okay so category comma aggregate of i'm going to take max of sales by category so this is going to create an imaginary table category and um, max sales and that table i'm going to sort it in descending order with the help of minus symbol so after that i'm going to take the first value the category which has got the maximum value right so which is going to return d so here if i verify it so d category has got value 400 and that is what we have captured here so when we used first sorted value inside we had an aggregate function and that aggregate has actually visualized the data in this manner right so this is how agr works internally it creates a temp table in the memory and does all the aggregations or other performs other calculations on top of it okay so hope we got some basic understanding of agr function please do let me know in the comment section for any clarification thanks for watching